I love you, and write it recite it with down feathers on. That mean that shit cold, and I'm the coldest. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. I think this would be good for you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and this is almost like a survey that I'm carrying out because I'm, I'm asking guys the same question. Um, I know what my answer is, but I'm curious as to other people. Mm-hmm. So, hypothetically, mm-hmm. you are dating or let's just say talking to two, two dudes, two niggas, right? One dude, mm-hmm. you um, you create, or for him, you have created a an image of yourself, a facade, an idea of yourself, and maybe it's not even big lies, but like it's a it's almost like a halo version of yourself for mm-hmm. him, right? And then the second dude, you're completely honest with. He knows you inside and out. You're completely transparent with. Who do you love more and why? That's a good question. Um, I'm going to I'm going to answer this a little different first and then I'll answer your question. I think I care more about what guy one thinks about me if I'm building up that person I want him to see and I want him to like I'm putting myself now I don't even care about what I what I look like. Basically, I'm basically I'm wanting I'm wanting to mold this person and shape this person into what I think he wants. So I care a lot about what he thinks. Whereas guy two, I'm like, it, you can see me however way you want to see me. I don't really care, but. I think the people we can be more vulnerable with and more open with and can show like the our depth, I think we, we kind of tend to, well, I don't know if it's love, but I think we kind of tend to like that person more or we are comfortable in their presence enough, um, which shows that we gravitate towards them on like, a human level that we want to we we can we can share our full selves with them but with guy one it's like that's that's who we want basically that's the that's the 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 prey that's who we're hunting that's like because now i'm changing myself i'm creating this facade i'm creating this this front face so that he can like it like boosting my own oomph so he can like it, right? But does that answer your question? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I don't know if it's love. I don't know if it's, I don't know if I would say I love one person over the other. I think it depends too, honestly. It depends on what we're, what we're trying to gain out of each thing, out of each relationship or interaction to it is elaborate to create a whole like outer shell or to boost yourself a little for somebody to see whereas well yeah it is but it's also very hard to be completely 100 with somebody too so you probably are you probably even subconsciously do like the person you can be your your 100 self with versus the person you're putting up a facade for but yeah Well, like subconscious, like even now, like I don't really think about it much, but I feel like the people that I'm closest with, sometimes I'm like, I could actually see myself with that person, right? But I'm not romantically attracted to them, which is so weird. But like, I am completely 100% myself with you, but 
this guy who I'm not like, who doesn't even know like the tip of the iceberg. And I'm just like, oh, I gotta, let me go shimmy, shimmy, you know, shake my shoulders. And, but I don't know why that is, but I can be, I can be with my friends. I can be uh, like, maybe not a hundred percent cause I'm never truly hundred percent with anybody. But with like my friends, they can see me on a different level that a person that I like would, wouldn't see me until like further on. If that relationship extends, like if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Uh, let's keep digging. <coughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that in the video. Um, Don't do that. The question is, what is the biggest lie women tell? Black women tell. The biggest lie black women tell. And it could be either they tell black men or they tell themselves or they tell each other. There's a lot of ways you can go with that. Um, I think the blackest lie, and I don't, I don't even, I think it's really society that puts us in this mindset, like the whole strength thing, the whole, we don't need, um, no man thing, the whole, like, I can do this on my own. And I, I mean, I have seen though that over the past few months, it's, well, I can only speak personally from the black women in my life that we are coming around to being like, no, I actually want someone there. I actually do want to be vulnerable. I don't, or like, I'm tired of, uh, I don't want to be that strong woman that you think I am. Like, you know, I think that's probably one of the biggest lies we have circulating about black women that we can handle it all and that we can handle everything that is thrown at us. And we're just so resilient. Um, we're strong. We're big. Like, because then it comes to the point where. We, we think that, we internalize that. And then in our you know, romantic relationships, we still think we're like big and strong. And there's like a, a fight for power almost because you're, you're so used to the mentality that um, anything that is thrown your way you can just bounce back from it. But we, we get broken too. We get hurt too. We get, we, we want to be vulnerable, but in, in society and all, even black men think that black men think they have, they, they can just put women, black women through anything. And if you stick by them, that means you truly love them. You, you stick, you stick through, all the BS. Oh, she's stuck with me. Like, why do I have to do that? Why do I have to stick with you for you to know that you love me? And why do we ourselves put ourselves in that situation that we think if we stick by a man through all the hurt and the pain and we're strong and resilient, that that means he's, he, he, he cares? Why is that? And I think that's just years and years of um, being in that mindset way back from ancestry up to now, just women in general, black people in general, we have to be strong and we have to carry society on our backs, basically. So I think that is one of the biggest lies we tell ourselves. And even myself, I feel like I can handle it all. I feel like I can like, don't get me wrong, I can. I can do a lot of things. But sometimes so I just want to sit there and stay 
I'm not okay. Yeah. But I don't think we get, we, we don't get the opportunity to a lot because not only is society telling us that, we're telling ourselves that too. And then from our interactions or from our own experiences, we feel like we need to, to be that tough, strong woman. So we continue telling people, oh yeah, I'm, I'm good. I got a tough outer shell, I'm good. Like, what happened? It is what it is. We move, I'm good. But I think that's a lie. We're hurting. Heavy. <laughs>